I think there are a number of reasons that are contributing to infection levels in the community. Uh, one is, as you say, so we're, we're looking at we're looking at BA2, which is the, the sub-variant of Omicron, which is more transmissible, and that is having an effect. It's the dominant strain now in Scotland, uh, and that is having an effect on, on infection levels in, in the community. And the, the Office of National Statistics report weekly uh, and have, uh, have reported a fifth consecutive rise in infection levels in our community. So that's quite important because over 5% of the population of Scotland will have been or are estimated to have been infected with COVID uh, in the week just gone past. So that, that's, that's one of the reasons. The other is, uh, of course, that the protective effect from the vaccination is beginning to wear off. And we're seeing that in more people becoming infected, particularly older people who were the first to receive their booster. So we're starting to see uh, that effect creeping in. Um, and we're seeing, of course, and many people will have experienced this, the continued rise in infection levels in primary school children in particular. And both of those at other, both ends of the, of the spectrum in terms of ages um, are the reason why the booster programme is, is really quite vital now. Um, and and uh, although it's, it's very much focused on older people at that end of the spectrum, I think there's every chance that we'll have to start looking at that autumn or even uh, uh, late in the summer, beginning of the autumn booster for, for other age groups 